Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. We are from group 9 and today we will explain the Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point or HACCP process of our product which is fish ball cheese. There are 12 steps to implement HACCP. The first step is assembly HACCP team. Our team consists of individuals with different specialties. For our HACCP team, under our seafood company, we have collection of raw material team, processing team, maintenance team, packaging team, cleaning and sanitation team, production team, and sales team. For second step is describe product. Our product name is fishball cheese. The composition in this product are fish like surimi, water, modified starch, monosodium glutamate, flour, and flavoring such as salt, sugar, and cheese. Physical for fish ball cheese are hardness in frozen condition and chewiness after cooking process. Why chemical structure in fish ball cheese are moisture, protein, fat, ash, and carbohydrate. Processing condition during making of this product are mince or grinding, mixing, forming fish ball, molding, boiling, cooling and packaging. Packaging and shelf life of this product is in vacuum pack and store in refrigerator until delivery. Store and distribution condition for this product is store in refrigerator until delivery and distribution using truck that have cool storage to deliver this product. Instruction for use this product is always store in freezer at negative 18 degrees Celsius or less. For third step is the fish ball can cook in many ways such as boil with hot water and or fry with oil. After that uh, age from 2 years and below are not recommended and expired day is 1 month if stored in freezing condition at negative 18 degrees Celsius or less. Fourth, construct process for diagram and plan schematic. First, we receiving of raw metal which is surami. Second, mincing by mincer machine. This is important, this is important process because surami come with reticular shape. Third, mixing. In this process, salt, flour, water, modified starch, MSG and sugar are added. Fourth, shaping into ball shape with boiling in hot water at 90 degrees Celsius about 10 minutes. Six, cooling in cold water at 25 degrees Celsius about 5 minutes. Seven, drying the fish ball. Eight, packaging, waging and seal the product using vacuum method. Lastly, ninth, distribution of product. For the fifth steps of HSCCP is on-site verification of flow diagram and plus schematic, where our team will visit the commodity system to compare the information present in the construct flow diagram with what actually happened in practice. Check a step-by-step practice that all information regarding material practices control have been taken into consideration by the team during preparation of the construct flow diagram. Next, information such as temperature, weight, time taken should be collected and included in construct flow diagram. Lastly, the site for which the HSCCP plan is being designed should be visited as many times as possible to ensure that all relevant information has been collected. For the six steps, is least hazard associated with each step. First, biological hazard, where bacteria such as Clostridium botulinum, Clostridium porphyrins, and Bacillus cereus. Second, is chemical hazard from packaging materials such as pesticides and adhesive. For the third, is physical hazard, which is injury potential, where slippery due to wet flow. At seven step. Apply HACCP Decision 3 to determine CCP. Question 1. Does this step involve a hazard of sufficient risk and severity to warrant its control? Question 2. 
Does a control measure for the hazard exist at this step? Question 3. Is control at this step necessary to prevent, eliminate or reduce the risk of the hazard to consumer? At A. Step. Establish critical limits. Always make sure that machine use such as mixing, machine always washing after and before using it. Pressure of a boiling at 90 Celsius, about 10 minutes to control Clostridium botulinum or Clostridium furfuringus or Bacillus carinus. carinus. At ninth step is establish monitoring procedure. Monitoring cleanliness of mixing machine. Monitoring temperature level during boiling process. At tenth step is Establish division procedure. Washing the mixing machine twice before and after using. Revoil the water to add more temperature as possible if the temperature is not maintained at 90 degrees Celsius. At 11 step, establish verification procedures. Uh, in this step is reviewing records every day when in operation. Calibration of monitoring device such as temperature, spot checks for biological, chemical, and physical hazards. One step is establish record keeping. Uh, in this step, uh, we have uh, four sub. In this step, first, the HACCP plan for fishbowl cheese. Uh, for this sub, we have step M explanation. Okay, for the step, uh, retrieving of raw material which is surimi. Uh, the surimi were bought from local fish market. Uh, then, uh, mixing by mincer machine. Surimi come with rectangular shape and needs to be minced. Then, mixing. During this process, salt, flour, water, modified starch, MSG and sugar were added. Next, shaping into ball shape. During this process, cheese will be filled in the fish bowl. Next step is boiling in hot water. Temperature is maintained at 90 degrees Celsius, about 10 minutes. Then cooling in cool water. Temperature needs to be maintained at 25 degrees Celsius, about 5 minutes. Then drying the fish bowl. Fish bowl need to dry before packing. Then pa packaging with and seal the product as this process vacuum method will use and the last distribution of product the product then will be transported to supermarket for the second sub is CCP monitoring monitoring cleanliness of mixing machine monitoring temperature level during boiling process the third sub is records of verification activities Review, reviewing records everyone in operation, calibration of monitoring device such as temperature, spot check for bio, biological, chemical and physical hazard. And the last sub in twist step is ingredient specification. Uh, we have surimi, salt, flour, water, modified starch, monosodium glutamate, MSG, sugar and plastic for packaging.